I'm going to show you a little bit about making a sanded surface. Um, a sanded surface has some advantages with pastel. It, um, it grips the surface really well and um, when pastel artists talk about surfaces they often talk to it about tooth and tooth is the amount of grip that you have on your surface and that will affect uh, how you paint with pastel and how it bonds to it. So you want to have adequate tooth and um, that makes a big difference. If, you, if you're working on a paper with inadequate tooth you get a lot of dust. It's not very much fun. So I'm again using acrylic matte medium is the bonding agent and that is going to stick it to the board and then I'm using aluminum oxide grit number 320 and I'm pouring a little bit of that in here and um, I don't usually use formulas but um, if you were doing a number of boards if you had like maybe a quarter cup of acrylic matte medium has to be matte not gloss and maybe a heaping tablespoon of the grit um, that'll that would be enough to make a number of boards you can also use pumice for your grit of a fine grade um, different materials but I like the aluminum oxide really well and then I'm gonna tint it with a little bit of acrylic just to give it a little bit of a tone I'm just gonna squirt out a tiny bit here there we go just so you'll be able to see it um, pastel artists a lot of times like to um, tint their surface so they can judge values more accurately it's a little bit hard to tell what your values are doing on a white board so we usually put a little bit of color on it so I'm just gonna mix this up and it'll be sort of a light green color since I'm using a green acrylic the idea with this is to put it on very thinly and evenly um, the acrylic matte medium is a polymer so that's like a plastic so if you get it on really thick it's going to be kind of glassy and it won't work well so I've kind of mixed it up and this is really easy I'm using a sort of a synthetic brush a cheap synthetic brush um, and I'm going to brush it in one direction like this and I'm going to come back in another direction to make it even and then I'm going to lightly feather over and that's it and I'll finish on this bottom part doing the same thing one direction come back in the other direction and just a light feathering and it will dry and I'll be good to go now I did this board on the multimedia art board which is a special resin impregnated paper that um, will handle any medium works very well but once you understand how to make a sanded surface you can put it on masonite or canvas or anything you want uh, if you have a big project and you're doing a a uh, big painting for somebody and you, you can take like a full sheet of acid-free museum board or something like that or foam core and you'll have to prime both sides with this method to equalize the tension so you don't get a, a major warp on it but it has some advantages um, the sanded surface does because it holds the pastel very nicely every little mark that you make registers on your board which is important because every little mark you make becomes your style and it's it's like a like your brushwork um, pastel artists like to kind of conserve the tooth that they have on their board um, and that reason you don't see them coloring in because once that tooth is clogged up then the the subsequent layers will have trouble bonding and you'll have a big dusty mess so if you're um, aware of your tooth you can avoid that problem and um, it'll make it much easier to frame your work because it'll be a lot less dusting but that's a tip on making a sanded surface thank you